Hi, I'm Nate from Heidel, and today we're going to be working with the HiVap Industrial Unit. The first step we're going to take to assembling the HiVap Industrial is to first pull the housing out of the box. After you do that, you're going to set it on top of your unit and line it up with the five holes that are both in the bottom of the housing and the side of the unit. Once you've done that, you're going to find the five screws plus the small screw that came with the housing, and we're going to start screwing those guys in. Now we're going to add the vapor tube to the unit from the condenser side. It slides right into the unit through the hole and rests at the end. From there, we can take our PTFE seal and our PTFE seal tool, combine them by pushing it through the back, and while holding the vapor tube, push the tool against the vapor tube and then slide the seal onto the tube. Now, we can add the PTFE seal adapter. And then from there, we can take our 20 liter. Again, making sure the easy clamp is open. And slide it in. Once you have it in, pull up on your clamp, push down to lock it, and then take your sandwich seal and slide it on the condenser side of the vapor tube. Now we will attach our distributor to our industrial unit by using a bullet coupling. You'll take your distributor and your coupling, sliding it over your distributor. You will then take the O-ring that came with it and put that over, which will prevent it from coming out. Now, you can push it into the unit and screw it up. The next portion of our assembly is going to involve our condenser. The first step is going to be to lower both supports on our housing to the lowest point. Once we've done that, we can take the first rubber ring, rubber side facing up, and put it on the bottom support. Now, we're going to want to take our condenser and throw the upper rubber ring on the top, rubber also facing the condenser. Now, you can slide it into the bottom of the top support, raise it, and let it drop as we set our condenser into our distributor. While holding it, you're going to want to raise the bottom support until it is right underneath the condenser and then tighten it. And then you can do the same with the top support. Once you've tightened those, you can make any minor adjustments to make sure it's straight. And lastly, with the condenser, you're going to take your C-clamp, loosen it as far as you can, and use it to connect the distributor and the condenser. Once you've done that, tighten the spring. And your condenser is in there nice and tight. The next portion of our assembly is going to involve the 10 liter receiving flask and the cassette. We're going to be using the cassette in order to attach the 10 liter receiving flask to our unit. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to remove the screws on the top of the cassette so that we can pull it off. We now want to loosen the screw on the support rod in the bottom and raise it to about halfway. So now we can slide the 10 liter receiving flask into the cassette. You can now tighten the screw and reattach to the top of the cassette. And using the screws, 
can reattach the top of the cassette. Now you can pick up your cassette and slide it over the guide rails on the side of your unit. Now we're going to add the mini condenser. This guy is going to go in between the distributor and our receiving flask. You're going to first take the bottom and slide it into the top of the receiving flask. Loosen the screw holding up the receiving flask and lift it up until it's secure over the distributor. Then you're going to want to tighten that screw on the rod and take your two clamps. You want to put one over the top portion which connects the distributor to the mini condenser and the other to the bottom portion which connects the receiving flask to the mini condenser. Now we're going to add the vacuum fitting to the condenser. You're first going to place it on the very top and taking a C-clamp, fit it around the back and slide it up. Now we're going to add the vacuum tubing to the vacuum fitting which comes straight out of the housing. We're going to unscrew the cap, slide the tubing through it, making sure you get the ferrule over it as well, and then slide it in and screw it back on. Now we're going to attach our coolant tubing to our condenser, our mini condenser, and our vacuum. So a few notes first off is that when you're attaching your tubing to your barbed connectors it can be a little difficult and some recommendations I have is to either use a heat gun or dip the tubing in alcohol first. That'll help you slide it onto the barbed connector. Secondly, it's very important that you use a ring clamp in order to secure the barbed connector to the tubing because this will help prevent leakage. So the first tubing which will be coming out of your unit from the cooler out one. We'll go through your housing to the top of your condenser. Then, put your coolant in one. You'll go through your housing and into the bottom of your main condenser. Now, your coolant out two will go into the top of your mini condenser. And from there, we're going to connect that in series with our vacuum pump. So, from the bottom portion of your mini condenser, you're going to plug your tube in. and take it to the in port of your vacuum. Then, from the exhaust port of your vacuum, you're going to connect it to your cooler to in. That is how to set up all your coolant tubing. Now I'll show you how to connect your vacuum and your chiller tubes to the industrial. And now connecting your chiller to your industrial unit is fairly simple. The out portion of your chiller will connect through tubing to the in portion of your unit, and then the out portion of your unit will connect to the in portion of your chiller. Also, remember to use your O-ring clamps in order to prevent any leakage 
coming out. Then we're going to connect the vacuum from our condenser to our unit. If you recall earlier, the PTFE tubing was connected to the vacuum cap. We're now going to connect it into the unit using a compression fitting and a ferrule. You slide your ferrule onto the PTFE tubing after your compression fitting. And then you insert it to the vacuum out and screw it on tight. And then you're going to plug in your vacuum sensor into the unit. Once that's done, we can connect our pump. You're going to grab your vacuum tubing, connect it from your pump into your industrial unit where it says vacuum in. Now all we have left to do is to add our sensors and our magnetic smart knob. So the first sensor, which comes with your unit, will plug into the port labeled vapor temperature sensor. And then go into your distributor. Then, if you decide to purchase an additional sensor, you can use it to utilize our auto accurate feature, which will plug into the port labeled auto accurate. And then into your condenser. And all you have left to do is throw on your magnetic smart knob and you're good to go. Thank you very much. This was your HiVap Industrial Assembly.